Hey there guys, welcome to uh, Old Beater Cars Garage. Well, here's an update on the 76 Oldsmobile Hearst project I'm doing. I got the hood on, finally. Uh, has probably a little more alignment on it, probably just tweaking bits on there, so it's kind of cool. So, yeah, I like it. I really like that hood on there. Yeah. Every time I look at this car, it reminds me so much of my uh, uh, 70, 76 Pontiac Vitura I have in the garage there. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, taillight housing from the back of their car. I'm gonna have to be gonna have to cut this apart, and graft it into the back to this one here. And I'll show that in a minute. So yeah, come along. I'm gonna have to do some uh, some other work to it pretty soon. Got the back end a bit jacked up. Got the trunk lid taken off, and uh, have to pull the gas tank out because I don't want to blow myself up when I uh, start cutting this thing. And welding and so forth. I showed it underneath, but my uh, light packed it in on my trouble light. So, anyways, uh, the idea, as you guys know, I've said, talked about this many old times already. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna have to graft it all in there, and probably have to end up cutting this in here. Cut a cut a hole in here for get access to the lights. We're just gonna weld that piece, that uh, housing there, to here. I'm not gonna cut into it because this is factory and I don't want to get into it so but I'm gonna cut we can weld it in here so it'll look alright you definitely won't be able to know that it was ever ever changed or ever modified unless you look at the registration <laughs> so all right well it's just an update on that like I said I got the car jacked up and um, I'll probably pull the gas tank out and do the leaf spring bushings because they're pretty tough shape in the back and do that and then um, start doing body work not very much on it uh, a little bit here on the quarter panel on the bottom here and a little bit on the front side here which is quite common on these cars even the Camaros on the uh, 70s Camaros they had a little bit of a rust here and on the bottom it was we're bad for that these cars here too the same problem so yeah um, the other side is a little bit of bubbling on the bottom same thing has a ding here Nothing, nothing, nothing major, and just have to get into it and do it. It's little patch jobs, but otherwise it's pretty, really good. It's really good on this thing. Anyways, yeah. So I thought I'd post a little video on that. At least you guys know what the car turned around now. So that means I'll be working on it. Well, anyways, I thought I'd post a little video. As soon as uh, as soon as the days start getting a little bit longer and start starting to get a little bit nicer out, I'll be post. I'll be doing more work on it. And uh, so you get some more light bulbs too. Alright guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.